Alright yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My GM series. We're up against the Detroit Pistons and this is the first game that I've played with Derek Rose. So I'm trying to see what he can do in this episode. And Kenneth Ray, get, get that out of here. Kenneth with the block, CJ Miles feeding it up to Derrick Rose who gets the tough lap to go. But this guy Derrick Rose, I showed you his stats in the last episode. Um, and we all, we all saw that he couldn't really shoot the rock. Like he's he's not that great of a shooter in 2K at all. Like he, he has no mid range, no three. What he does though, and, but the thing is what he does in real life, he's not even that good in real life. But in 2K, he, he's literally like throwback Derrick Rose. He's like MVP Derrick Rose in 2K. It's crazy. His quickness, speed, athleticism, it's all the same. I mean, just look at this boy, man. Look at... I'm, I'm going to prove it to you in this episode. If you were one of those guys that were like, why did you get Derrick Rose? That was complete nuts. You are an idiot. I'm going to show you why I got D Rose on this team. And the good thing is, I can utilize George Hill more than I would have without Derrick Rose. Because... George Hill in the starting lineup wasn't really producing. He wasn't doing anything for me. He was that player that just got assist, and that's pretty much it. Off the bench, he's like our sixth man now. He's the guy that I look to score and I look to facilitate the ball with. And as you can see, shot clock winding down, PG from downtown. He beats the buzzer and ties the first quarter. So yeah. It's a, it's a pretty close game. Drummond, I don't know what he was doing right there, taking a turnaround fadeaway from all the way down there, but he decided to do that. And look at this man, CJ Miles, drawing the foul and the contact and getting it to go. He's drawing the and one play. Let me know what you guys think about the new editing that I'm doing right now, where, where I do different camera angles and things like that. Um, you know, it's 2016 now. I'm trying to make this channel a whole ton better, and I, I showed you guys... Um, hopefully, or if I, I think it uploaded, it should have uploaded, but the 2016 New Year's resolutions and what I want to do in terms of this channel and all that stuff. Um, I think I showed you guys the video. If you haven't checked it out, please, I would really appreciate if you guys could check out that video. It's just, you know, the, the recent one, um, the New Year's 2016 video. That'd be awesome. Look at that defense. How did he get that to go? Like, that was insane defense, and then when he just takes the three and gets it to four. And look at this. Excellent release. You, you're not going to miss that. Oh, wait. It's Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is some cheese. Now, if you make an excellent release, you need to make it the excellent release. It's an excellent release. How do you miss an excellent release, okay? How do you miss an excellent release if it's an excellent release? I don't understand that. Look at that pass right there by PG. And that's that's kind of what I was talking about in terms of editing. Do you guys like that? Or would you guys want me to go back to the original editing where it's just, you know, simple editing and just cutting it normally, same camera angles and stuff, because it's 2016, like I was saying, and um, yeah, for the channel, I want to improve on the editing aspect of things, and that's something that I think makes um, the video better, different editing. And now, looking at the stats, we're, we're pretty much tied with the uh, with the Pistons right now. Look at D. Rose. That was a nice move right there. See, that's what I'm talking about in terms of editing. Let me know what you think about the editing. Comment down below. But um, yeah, D. Rose, he's honestly... A beat and look at PG. How to nail got that to go, but I'll take the M1 and look at this man. Look at that celebration right there. That's pretty nice. That was pretty cool to see that. And I'm really happy um, of the big three with Derek Rose, Paul George, and Kenneth Fareed. Um, it's a medium big three, as Paul George is, you know, that superstar. But D Rose and Kenneth are kind of the guys that um that are not as good. But it's still a big three, I think, in my opinion. And and I'm going to utilize D-Rose way better than the Chicago Bulls are utilizing D-Rose. Because it's 2K, obviously. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. Sit down, people. Derrick Rose is like a throwback D-Rose. Woo! I was so hyped when I got that. that. That was a crazy putback. I don't care what anyone says. D Rose was one of the greatest trades I've made because this guy is a beast. He is honestly insane. And the thing is, we're still down two points to the Pistons going into the last quarter. So here we go. D Rose gets the block right there to start out the fourth quarter. And now it's time to see if we can come back and get this get this win. Drummond turns it over. Fareed running the break. I give it to D Rose who gets the slam dunk. I'm telling you guys, this man is such a beast in 2K. And if I can, you know, increase his training to make him a better shooter, 
Even if he can't hit the three ball, the mid-range, that's all I need from him. I just need a mid-range shot because I have guys that can hit the three ball. I have Paul George at a 93. I have CJ Miles who has a 90 shot three. I've got, um, I don't know, if D-Rose is on the bench, I've got, what's his name, George Hill at like an 89 shot three. So I've got a whole bunch of three-point shooters. I don't necessarily need D-Rose to shoot the ball, but if he, if he can get a mid-range shot and play a little better defense, it's over because he has the offensive game as you guys have seen and look at him right now. If he gets double team, he makes the right pass to PG. Unfortunately, he misses, but we got the man. Hill on the boards, getting that put back lap to go. Now it's time to play some good defense. CJ Miles with the steal. Kenneth Farid running the break. And look at him. He's not passing it off. He decides to right there with Paul George getting the layup and it's a four-point lead. So now with the ball, Paul George gets it all the way to go back to a four-point lead because the Pistons scored again. So this game is just going back and forth. And this last quarter was really Paul George's quarter. It was all PG. I wanted to take some shots with Derrick Rose, but he was getting double teamed every possession down, it seemed like. So in the last quarter, it was PG. I mean, just look at this man. He's not being stopped to end this game. And so with Paul George pretty much leading this team, the Indiana Pacers, to victory, hopefully, 12 seconds left, he needs to make his free throws right here. The game is pretty much done. Gets the excellent release free throw right there, which makes it a four-point lead. Gets another excellent release, five-point lead to the Pacers. If we give up a three, that won't be good. We leave him open, but we luckily get a miss. Drummond on the boards. I don't know why they weren't shooting. He could have had that shot. They fed it out, and that's the clock pretty much. It's done. He misses anyway, and the Indiana Pacers win the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and look out for the next episode. It's going to be a crazy episode. I think in the next episode, it's the rebrand. We get into a little bit of rebranding, so um, yeah, new jerseys, new court, all that good stuff, etc. Paul George, I told you in the last quarter he stepped it up, but D Rose dropped 22 and 10, only missed seven shots. Great game from uh, you know Paul George and D Rose together. First game together, and this game really showed that they can work together as a team, which is awesome. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. I really appreciate all the likes that you guys show on every video, but yeah. Let's see if we can reach 600 likes for the next episode. And uh, yeah, watch the New Year's resolution video. Um, it's I, I want to see what you guys think about that video in the comment section down below. I'm out. Peace.